everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, subscribe, folks. Comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has the links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I'll talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing a live radio show right here on the channel. Sit down with your boy. Call in. I take live callers. We're going to be talking about the Jets. We're going to be talking about the draft. We're going to be talking about it all, okay? The moves, everything that's been going on, all right? Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets signing offensive lineman Billy Turner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They've made some moves. They brought a guy in. You know what I'm saying? They got themselves an offensive lineman. We're going to be discussing him. We're also going to talk a little bit about Makai Becton as well and that fifth-year option. All right? To this point, nothing's been announced. We're going to discuss that, okay? But first, we're going to start with Billy Turner, all right? Now, the New York Jets have signed offensive lineman Billy Turner to a one-year, $3.15 million deal, all right? Now, this guy is special because he's very versatile, okay, as an offensive lineman. He can play tackle and guard, which is big for the New York Jets, right? We've seen us have issues up front and need guys to move around. And this is a guy that can be moved around the offensive line. Now, he also has a history and a familiarity with our offensive coordinator and Aaron Rodgers. Turner played eight games. He had seven starts with the Broncos last season, okay? And before that, he was with the Packers for three seasons, all right? So he was there with Nathaniel Hackett, then following Nathaniel Hackett from you know, the Packers to the Broncos. And, of course, when he was there as well, he was protecting Aaron Rodgers. Hmm. This is a good move. This is a really good move for the New York Jets, continuing to build depth, continuing to build solid depth along the offensive line because we've seen in the past what can happen, right? <laughs> I mean, if you look at the last year's issues with our offensive line, there was a myriad of injuries. I'm talking about a myriad of injuries, all right? Remember, we had Becton went down early. We'll be talking about him in a second. Becton went down, right? We lost him. Then we lost Fant for a minute. And then we brought in Dwayne Brown, right? Dwayne Brown ended up sitting down for a little bit too. He was dealing with the injury. Then, you know, Max Mitchell was coming in and filling in. And then Max Mitchell went down eventually with a, a knee injury. And then blood clots. And he was done for the season, uh, ATV went down for a minute as well. We had guys moving all over the place, all over the place along our offensive line to just try to keep things together. And we saw injuries take a toll. Well, the New York Jets have learned from that. And again, we had solid depth where guys were kind of able to spin and get in there. But now Joe Douglas is just continuing to build up front, keeping some fat guys up there so that if injuries happen or anything's happen, hey, we'll be able to put this guy in and he'll just be able to hold the fort until the guy comes back or however long that we need him and that's a solid move again the New York Jets have really attacked the offensive line and the depth this season as well with some free agent signings and some re-signings re as well not just Billy Turner being one of the free agent signings but Cedric Aboya as well brought him back into the fold he was a guy that plays with quality snaps along our offensive line Connor McGovern as well re-signing him I'm not the biggest Connor McGovern fan but they brought him back center was a gigantic hole uh, before we actually brought him back. He's a guy that could give you some snaps and be solid, but he's not the greatest. They drafted Joe Tipman. It's looking like Dwayne Brown is going to come back as well and have some significant role along our offensive line, possibly as a starter. More than likely, he is going to be uh, our starter there at tackle. So when you look at this situation, man, and of course you got Max Mitchell coming back. The New York Jets have really started to shape things up to really secure the depth along this offensive line, and I like what they've done, okay? So again, Billy Turner is now a New York Jet. Now, we're going to talk about Makai Becton, man, all right? To this point, to this point, all right, and this is, I'm filming this video, it has not been announced whether the New York Jets will give Makai Becton 
his fifth year option whether they sign it off and say yes he's going to be here okay but keep in mind the deadline the deadline for it to be signed and then for them to make a decision is may 2nd 4 p.m okay so at may 2nd at 4 p.m they better had said something and figured something out the yes or no or what they're going to do with makai beckton that's when they have to have made the decision all right now keep in mind we've already seen some people get announced today we know that patrick mcqueen he is not getting a fifth year option jedrick wills is getting his fifth year option okay jerry judy of course is getting his fifth year option chase young is not getting his fifth year option so these are just things that are being thrown out and we have yet to hear about makai beckton now I do believe that the New York Jets will give Makai Becton his fifth-year option. Keep in mind, Makai Becton's fifth-year option will keep him here throughout the 2024 season. It will also guarantee him $13.5 million for that season as well. So he'll be due that money if the New York Jets decide to move forward and give him that fifth-year option. And I think that they will, okay? When you look at the situation, I know a lot of people scream about the injury, right? I get it. When you look at the injury that he got, right, the knee injury, a lot of Jets fans seem to forget that he got that knee injury because Greg Van Roten was thrown into the back of him. <laughs> like a sack of potatoes, just thrown into the back of him. It jacked his knee up. So, of course, that year he's missing. Then he tried to come back the next season, and we know, dealt with the injury within that same knee, fractured the kneecap, which costed him a lot of time. And there was a lot of talk that he was going to come back at some point during the season, and he was expected back didn't you know manifest he didn't come back was done in it the season on ir and according to people that are around him duke mayweather is one of the guys that trains him and works with him and duke mayweather pretty much came out on twitter and told people right that that injury was way worse than what was being reported and that he was never coming back <laughs> he, made, he made it you know pretty clear that makai beckton was never coming back from that knee injury so that, with him not coming back, right, last season, it flared up and fans went off on him. They talked about, you know, questioning his work ethic and all these things, right? He wasn't in shape. He was fat and all these things just can, just, just a firestorm surrounding him, okay? Now, when you look at the situation, Makai Becton is in unbelievable shape. He has done every single thing that he could possibly do to get himself back on the field and I believe, I'm telling you, he is fully healthy, not only body-wise, but mentally he's healthy. And you see it. The way he's interacting with people on social media, he's interacting with fans, he's going back and forth. He's letting people know that he's excited to be here and he cannot wait to get out on the field and maul people. He's connecting with the fan base in a way that I don't think he's ever connected with the fan base since he's been here. He's inspired a lot of people themselves to get into the gym. He's looking slim, trim, and I'm telling you, if he stays in... <laughs> If he stays in the gym, if he, if he starts burning even more weight off his body, he's probably just going to be a tight end. Like I'm, I'm serious. He looks, he is very trim. So I think that when you look at Makai Becton and when you look at his, the work that we've seen him do, when he's been able to get out there and fully healthy, he's been special. That rookie year was extremely special, right? He was stuffing every good pass rusher that he faced from Bosa to Chubb. The list goes on, but he made them look like just regular guys, and they couldn't get past them. Highway 77, people were just raving about him. You had guys, right, special guys, Damian Woody, analysts, all these big guys saying, yo, that guy's playing like an all-pro. That guy is looking like one of the best tackles in the league, and he is unbelievable, right? And I think that Makai Becton will return to that. So when you look at this, right, you look at the situation, the way it's shaping itself up, Dwayne Brown is an older guy. And I'm just, comment down below, let me know what y'all think about these thoughts. Dwayne Brown's an older guy. He's not going to be here forever, all right? I'm thinking after this season, right, because Makai uh, Becton, at this point, I believe, is going to be the New York Jets starting right tackle. Dwayne Brown is going to be their left tackle because he can only play left tackle. He's only played left tackle, right? I think after this season, Dwayne Brown is going to be gone because I think he retires, and I think that Makai Becton is going to move over to that left side, and then the New York Jets will answer who their right tackle would be, whether it be Max Mitchell or Carter Warren as well, who we brought into this, this in this recent draft. So I think that Makai Becton is being set up to move back into his role after this season, possibly, and really show the New York Jets what he can do. 
If not, he's. I, I believe they, again, give him the fifth-year option to prove himself, to see if he can stay healthy and dominant for two years. And if he can, he's going to be here. I do believe that the New York Jets will give him a fifth-year option. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about Billy Turner being signed by the New York Jets? And what are your thoughts on me believing that the New York Jets will give Makai Becton his fifth-year option? Give me your thoughts on that. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.